Morning Live. It's good to have you. If you, if you missed our program yesterday and you've tuned in and you suddenly see us sitting in a different studio, you, you're not seeing things. We are. Uh, the studio that we usually broadcast from is uh, currently being renovated. So uh, we're hopefully looking forward to a new beautiful set. But in the meantime, we're just going to use this one for the next couple of weeks. That's just to keep you in the picture as to why we're sitting in a different set on Morning Live. All right, let's uh, talk about public service now. The Department of Public Service and Administration has launched the Public Service Month. The launch set off a series of activities earmarked to celebrate the annual public service program across the country from the 1st to the 30th of September under the theme, Together, Moving the Public Service Forward, We Belong, We Care, We Serve. The focus of this year's Public Service Month will be about demonstrating the values of Batupele and Notion, which uh, demands that public servants put people first through programs that visibly portray a positive attitude. Well, joining us now in our parliamentary studios is the Director General of the Department of Public Service and Administration, Mr. Uh, Mashwahle Dipofa. And uh, Mr. Dupofa, it's a pleasure to have you here on the program. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you, Leanne. Good morning. This year's focus, we're really talking about those uh, Batipile principles that uh, I spoke about in the introduction, which require people to be polite, open, transparent, uh, deliver good public service uh, to the public, and is not really, unfortunately, everything we've said, something that many public servants actually do. Uh, most of the time, members of the community complaining about the bad treatment they experience in the hands of the very public servants uh, that we are aiming this campaign to. Do they really understand? what the principles actually entail. Thank you, Lian. Um, we believe that the majority of public servants do uh, uh, understand what the particular principles are about. That the principles that we talk of in terms of consultations, in terms of courtesy, in terms of value for money, that the majority of public servants do understand that. So if you look at a number of things that are happening in the country, that are happening in terms of the applications for identity documents, in terms of the rollout of social grants. All these developments that are happening behind them are dedicated public servants who make it happen. But of course, we can't deny the fact that there are those amongst us who do not live up to these principles, who do not adhere to these principles. That is why we have a campaign like this Public Service Month, September, every year. What we do during the course of this month is that we celebrate the achievements where achievements uh, exist, but we identify challenges where challenges uh, exist as well. And together we try to find solutions. And we invite members of the public to use platforms that are there so that they can share their experiences with us. And where there are gaps, we'll then be able to address those gaps. How does this month actually highlight the importance of the adherence to these principles? What, what happens is, is we have a number of activities that will be rolled out. Uh, amongst others, what will happen is that we will have visits to service delivery sites, most of which will be unannounced, so that when we arrive at the service points, we are able to experience firsthand what happens in terms of service delivery there, so that those principles that we talk of, of courtesy, responsiveness, and so on, the principles or political principles and some of the senior managers can see them in action. Secondly, they will also be able to interact with members of uh, communities who are there to receive the services so that they can also share their experiences during uh, the unannounced visits. Secondly, what we also do is that we have the assignment of senior officials largely uh, from head offices so that they can go to service delivery sites. Uh, work around service delivery sites with frontline staff and experience what they experience so that if there are problems, they are able to deal with those problems on the spot. Apart from that, it's platforms of communication with members of the public. Throughout the month, we'll be using various forms of platforms, including social media, so that uh, members of communities can talk to us about their experiences as we emphasize the importance of these principles. Mm -hmm. why, why do you think that there's this, this attitude um, amongst public servants that, I suppose, you know, a lot of people should say you, you should be grateful to be having a job and to be working and earning a salary, and yet when you, you know, confronted by some of these very disgruntled public public servants that are working in the various departments, you, you almost feel like you know, they're doing you a favor serving you, or they're doing you a favor 
trying to uh, do what they're being paid to do. Why is this? I mean, what, 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 what leads to this disgruntled nature, do you believe? Well, about a year or two ago, uh, as part of this process, we went around the provinces to talk particularly to frontline public servants themselves. And the question we put to them was, there is often this complaint from communities uh, that you are not always kind to them, that you don't always treat them with courtesy. Yeah. What is your explanation? Uh, and there were various explanations given. Uh, at the end of the day, what is important is that regardless of problems that we might have as public servants, regardless of challenges that we might have as public servants, as we try to address those challenges, we still have to adhere to the principles of Batopeli. And I need to emphasize, Lien, that because the public service is, a very, it's a, it's the single largest employer in the country uh, with over 1.2 million employees, I emphasize again that it is our assessment that the majority of them are not necessarily rude, uh, but those that are rude uh, have to be uh, dealt with in terms of the processes that are there in the system where feedback is provided to the public service, the discipline management processes in government should then be implemented. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, let's hope it works. Let's really hope that that, uh, that principle of Batipile comes in and that when we visit our next uh, public service uh, uh, staff member, they smile and they're happy and they're willing to serve us. And I suppose you're right. The respect should be shown by the public as well. Anyway, thanks so much for chatting to us. Good luck for the month. I'm sure we'll focus in a little bit more on that. Mr. Mashwatle uh, Dipofa is the uh, uh, Director General from the Department of Public Service and Administration talking to us about the public Public Service Month. Love to hear from you. What do you think about public service in South Africa? At Morning Live, SABC. Write to us there. Let's take a break. News after the stage.